that you walk by faith, people in your environment will notice that your life is not ordinary. We, we can't talk about faith and then the average Christian is ordinary. He goes to the exam hall, the same way the ordinary people go to, to the exam hall. He has similar results with ordinary people. God does not want you to be human. You need to know that. To operate with the resources of humanity is insufficient. And he needs to upgrade you and bring you to a point where you can walk on that path that fowls have not seen. So after God said I should release that money, the next time they got, the Lord now appeared to me. He said I should wake everybody in the house up. So I woke them up. And then when I started praying, when we started praying, now spoke to me and said, see, this part of your salary you will give me every month. When he said that, it was easy for me to respond because I already had an experience along that line. You know, what God wants to do is that through your encounters with him, at first in your work with him, he begins, if God begins to probe Another dimension of your life begins to probe maybe your financial life now. And he wants to bring your financial life in, in subjection to his authority. And he begins to say, do this. Go and give that sister that. Go and give this person this. Send this amount to our Alphonsus. And you know that everything is instructing. You cannot do it naturally. Because you feel it's not wise for you to be spending like that. In the view of circumstances... And situations are you with me now and then maybe you 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 reluctantly obeyed him but you obeyed all the same and then you now see the results that came from that your obedience you know you are emboldened to advance at that point it doesn't take as much effort as it took the first time for you to continue the work so walking in faith becomes a natural thing if your work with god is consistent and if it becomes natural and you walk like that for two years, people in your environment must have taken notice that you are not a normal man. You are not hearing me now. You are not hearing me. Everything that God wanted to do on earth required people to respond. Sometimes when he sees that there is no, this person cannot believe me, what he does is that he, he imparts faith as a gift to the person. But it must be by faith if you are going to work with God. So let's start from one of the points. Can you turn to Luke chapter 1? I'm going to round up right now. The experience of God. It must be by faith. When last did God come to you and say, do this strange thing? When last did he come to you and say, give me your night? Don't sleep from 12 to 3. And he knows that you walk 12 hours in a day. And hallelujah. The kind of work I do can be so physical sometimes. So physical. So demanding. And then you come back and he says, You don't have a right to sleep. I hope you know you can't respond to him with humanity. If you are going to fulfill that which he has instructed, you must walk on a path that Faust cannot see. Promotion was done in the office. And people here had seen that I was promoted. Came to me and said, you are promoted. promoted. The list came out, my name was not on it. So I, I took leave. I went somewhere for two days. I said, meanwhile, what exactly happened? <laughs> and he, he, he spoke to me. I said, you are promoted. I said, sorry, the last time I checked, my name was not there. He didn't, he, he didn't talk again. For, I continued till the, sec, the second day was accomplished. He didn't, he didn't speak again. I just came out. Six months later, the executive secretary of my office now visited my depot. When he, he asked me a few questions, I, I cleared his doubts. Ah, ah. He didn't say anything. He went back and asked them, go, that man, go back to his file, promote him and backdate him. So, the promotion was backdated. So I had accumulated money. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is this. 
It's for you to walk with God. You just, it must be by faith. He's telling somebody that for two years, the list came out two years now. He's telling you that you are promoted. Then when it eventually happened and was backdated two years backward. And I knew that the first thing that will suffer loss when you enter into your walk with God is your mind. And that's why the mind must be subject to consistent renewal. So that you can handle the things that are coming. Are you with me? You say, okay, I'm just through with you, service. Kneel down and bind yourself with a past until God speaks. So that you know when, where to set feet. It's a work of faith. And you never get to that place that God wants you to go, except you are ready to advance along that line. Every time God speaks, he speaks beyond the level that your humanity can contain. Are you with me?